Hi guys, so I'm here with another Ulta haul. I couldn't resist. Um, I missed the Lorac, um, what is it called? The Lorac Pro 3. I missed the release for the Ulta Platinum members because I didn't see the email because if I did, I would have gotten it. So as soon as it was released, I think it was on the 2nd. I think it was the 2nd. Um, I, I happened to be up at like one o'clock in the morning and I went ahead and purchased it. And then they also had a thing where if you spent more than $150, you could get a, like a free beauty bag of whatever it may be. They didn't have any more of those, but they did have the $75. Of, like if you spent $75 or more, you can get another free bag of whatever. I kind of wish I would have broke my um, purchase into two separate purchases because I could have gotten two bags, but I wasn't thinking. It was one o'clock plus in the morning. And as soon as I hit set or enter or whatever, submit, I was like, ah, oh. and it always happens like that for me. As soon as I click like the finalization, I'm like, oh, why didn't you do it this way? Anyway, so obviously I did get the Lorac Mega Pro Palette 3. Um, I did not get the first one. I did get the second one. I use the second one almost every single day. Um, there's only a select few shades that I use out of there, to be honest, but I do use it every single day. <clears throat> so this one, it says on here, Los Angeles. Now, I don't know if the blue one says anything like that. I don't think that it does. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I would have to pull it out. Okay, so I got it. No, it doesn't say anything. You can see my, my Mega Pro 2 is quite beat up. You can see how I've dug into everything. This is... I'm telling you, this is like the palette that I love. And you can see the shades that I use quite frequently. So yeah, it's messy. I love it though. It's a great palette. And you can get one look right out of this one palette. You don't need anything else. I have not used this one just yet. So um, it's really pretty, all white. I haven't dirtied it up or anything. And uh, I'm excited. I kind of like slightly touched a, a couple of shades and tested it out. And it performs just like um, the other palettes that I have. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Lorac, Lorac is one of my favorite um, eyeshadow brands by far. I had the Lorac, um, the Lark Pro Original. I don't have the two because I didn't really care for those shades. I have the Unzipped. I have the Pro to Go. I have a couple other ones. Um, and I, it's just my favorite brand of eyeshadows. I like the way they feel. I know a lot of people say, oh, they're some of them are kind of powdery and uh, they have fallout. I don't. I never really have a problem with that. Like if I put my brush into a shade and you can you can tell when once you put your brush into it you can tell if it's going to be like um, have fallout or not and you just tap your brush off or blow it off or whatever you want to do to it um, but I love the way that it works it's my favorite brand um, so this has a lot of warm shades in there um, neutral shades these are a lot of shades that I tend to go for um, I just watched um, oh my gosh I can't remember her name now I just watched a review today on this palette and she was saying how she wasn't that blown away by the shades that was in this palette. However, they're great, but the shades are kind of like mediocre because she has them in her other palettes. And that may be so, but um, I don't care. I still like it. It's my favorite brand and every time they come out with a palette that I'm excited about that are my shades and my tones, I must have tons of of you know neutral shades and warm tones and things like that but that's my preference that's what I like as for the two palettes I don't really see anything that is too too similar I mean um, they obviously have different names um, nothing in here really um, screams out that it's identical. I mean, maybe Peony here and Bellini over here might be kind of similar. So this one is um, Peony. This is from the 
Pro, Mega Pro 2 and this one is Bellini. This is from the um, the new one, the number three. They're slightly, slightly different. One has a little bit more pink and one has a little bit more orangey tone to it. And then this one here is the um, Cinnamon in the Pro 2. And then these two are from the newer palette. This one is Cider, I'm sorry, this one is Brown Sugar and this one is Cider here. So similar, but not exactly the same. So there's, again, similar shades, not exactly the same. The Bellini and the Peony are very, very, very similar. There's just like a little tiny hint, a subtle, subtle difference between the two. Okay, the next thing that I did get is the Tarte, um, what is this one called? What is this one called? Oh, it, this one is called the Tarte Works of Tarts. Works of Tarts. So this is obviously, this is all the Ulta one. Um, the packaging is very mod. I really like it. It's pretty, pretty cool. It has a picture of what is on the inside. And then once you open it, this is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the box, which I really like that. Tarte always does stuff like that. I've already gotten it dirty. Um, that's what I do have on my eyes today is this particular one. When you open the palette right here, there is a humongous mirror right here and then you have all the shades. Um, plenty, plenty of shades. So you get 24 shades. Um, what I do have on my eyes today, I have um, I have this neutral one over here, all over the lid. This is called Set the Tone. And then I have Abstract all over the lids. And then I have Beret. Um, no, yeah, Beret in the crease and a little bit of Take It Easel in the crease uh, to kind of blend it all together. And then on the bottom, uh, the lower lash, I also have some beret there also. Um, and then you can open the side. When you open the side, um, it has this little palette here, which I'll open in a second. And then, let's see, does this whole thing come out? No, it doesn't. It has this little plastic tray. And I think the cool thing is, is that you can actually take this plastic tray out throw this palette right back in there and then you can actually fit more stuff in here. So this particular um, set, the way the box is, I really like the way this one is. Um, I got the holiday palette last year and the it was I was not impressed with the shadows or anything like that, but this one I like. And then in this little mini palette right here, it has a blush, it says contour and a highlight. So. Um, I haven't used the contour. I used the highlight this morning. The highlight is okay. Um, I prefer a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more shimmery of a highlight, personally. The blush was very nice. It didn't seem to last as long as other blushes from Tarte, so that was a little bit I had to reapply because I put my makeup on at like, what, six o'clock this morning? And it is, what, six o'clock now? No, I would say four or five o'clock o'clock five o'clock o'clock no I would say it's about four or five o'clock in the afternoon now so um, the blush I did have to reapply right before I did the video because it seemed to have faded okay and then we have this is a tardiest glossy lip paint and this one I don't know what shade this one is it says this one is in double tap um, I didn't use this yet or anything like that but it just looks like a pretty neutral shade the wand I don't know if I want to use this I think that I am going to send a picture of this to Ulta this looks pretty crappy to me look at this that looks like pure mold that's really gross I'm definitely I'm so glad that I opened this now because I didn't and I opened it and it's daytime God forbid I were to have opened this at night and I would have put that on my lips. No, no. How could it be like that? They must have just taken this thing from some other wherever sample who God knows what. Doesn't smell bad, but my gosh, that looks like pure mold. Tell me if that's normal or am I over exaggerating? Let me know what you think. I'm not sure what I think about it. I definitely don't want to put that on my lips. No. Okay, next is this Tarte 
Lash Paint Mascara something. I've never used this one and I may never use this one because it doesn't... Oh, there it goes. I think it's opening. I'm so confused by this. Is that how it's supposed to open? Like you just pull it up, pull it out like that? That just doesn't seem right. Like, is that right? That you just pop it open? Or maybe it is. That's so weird. I'm gonna have to look at some reviews on this mascara because I don't know if that's normal. I'm scratching my head because <laughs> I don't know what to think. All right, and then we have a brush here, which this brush is really, really pretty. Um, it's pink and it has the gold um, ferrule and the brush is very thick and dense and fluffy. So that's really nice. Okay, and then I got um, from Stila, this is the Stay All Day Sparkle All Night um, Liquid Lip Set with, and it also has a glitterati, glitterati lip top coat. Um, this particular set has uh, five shades in there and I have a, I think I have one or two of these shades um, this is patina I have patina in a full size um, and that is what I'm wearing on my lips right now this one is transcend it kind of moves around and there's glitter on the inside of that then we have fresco I do not have this one this is called baka this is patina this one is Rubina and this one is Baki. I have this one and I have this one, these two. The other three I don't have. And I just saw today that they have a, like a neutral trio that's out. And the trio that they have are shades that I do not have. So I definitely want to get that trio. What I really like about these lip, um, lip colors is that they do stay all day long throughout lunch drinking and all that stuff. And um, they're quite com comfortable on the lip. For me, they're really comfortable. Um, I mean, if, you, if you're gonna rub them, they're obviously gonna crumble, but if you're just talking and you're eating and you're just doing the regular all day stuff, you're gonna be fine. Okay, next I got from Pure. This is the Perfect Matte Lip Color. Um, I have not tried any of these before. I'm not familiar with this. I don't know how it feels. I don't know the wear time. Um, but I definitely am going to try it out. I'm probably going to look up some YouTube videos on it to see if I find out anything about them. Um, maybe I can do like a lip swatch video um, since I won't be doing any more um, weekly mail review videos. So I can probably do something like that. Um, so we'll check that out. And then the last thing was the kit that it came with. If you spent $75 or more, you would get um, this, which was worth, I don't remember the value of it. I don't know if it's $75 is the value. I forget, I don't recall. It just says that this is the Melissa Michelle beauty bag. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know it was hers. I do watch her on YouTube sometimes. Okay, first thing in the bag is Sesvite and I love Sesvite. It is the most amazing um, top coat, instant nail dry kind of a thing. You paint your nails, you put this on top and within a couple minutes you can go and wash dishes and do whatever the heck you want. It's awesome. Love it. Uh, let's see. Then we have a couple of perfumes in here. Viva La Juicy, which is one of my all-time faves. Um, this one here from Ralph Lauren. This is the Midnight Romance. This one smells so good. I put it on the other night. I really want to get the full size of this. And then we have... What is in here? Then we have this from Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray lightweight thermal protectant um, and that's all it says so blow dry spray or your heat protectant and then we have from uh, soap and glory this is a body polish it's called flake away and then from buxom this is the shade Dolly. This is a lip color I don't know if it's a lip gloss or let me say plumping shine. Ooh plumping is it? I don't recall. Um, this one is pink and it has like little tiny shimmers in there. So, and I, I know I love this one because I have um, like a deluxe sample size and I love it. Then we have a sample of the Murad, Murad, no, Murad. Then we have a sample of the Murad oil control mattifier with SPS 15. 
I actually have this in the full size and I haven't used it. I need to find it. That would be good. I need another oil mattifying primer. I have to find this one. This will be good. Then we have from NYX. This is the butter lipstick and this one is in, what shade is this one in? It's in fun size mini. I don't like this one. I swatched it already and it's just like the, a super light color. It's very odd. If you put maybe a dark lip liner and then use this, maybe it'll be okay, but I didn't like the shade. And then this is a new item from IT Cosmetics. This is the IT Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. So it looks like, you know how um, the Balm Cosmetics, they have like little tiny minis like this. Oops, there goes the little pad. So it has like a little pad that you can use to kind of press into your face, which is pretty cool. This is great for on the go. Um, I definitely want to put this in my bag to have like a little tiny mini powder. There's no mirror or anything, but that's fine. And then the last thing in here is from Tarte. This is Tartiest Double Take Eyeliner. So it's just a pencil liner and it's a wind up pencil pencil liner and I did try it out. It's long lasting, it works really good, so I'm excited to have this one. So that was really nice to get this um, bag with a ton of goodies in here. That was fantastic. And then of course they always send a couple little samples. Um, there's a Smashbox primer in here and I don't know what else. I didn't open it. Let's see what else. And a clean it up shampoo. I thought you're supposed to get like three samples. Do they expect you to think that uh, these little perfume things are samples? Because they're not. So that is everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a quite a long video, but I got a lot to say. You know, I have my opinions. First impressions, first thoughts. Not too many opinions, maybe a little bit of opinions. If you wanna hear any detailed reviews on any of those items, like if you want to see the lip swatches or anything like that, let me know and I can definitely do that. So until the next video, I'll see you again in another one. Bye.